Hi everyone, on this screencast of Total OS today, I wanted to take a look at the other Ubuntu operating system called Kubuntu or Kubuntu. Uh, this is uh, something I downloaded months ago along with, uh, I believe it was PC Linux OS. Um, I think it was LXDE or LUbuntu. Uh, these operating systems, sometimes I'll just download one or two even three at a time, burn them onto CDs and just file them away in my box and then just get to them uh, either when I have time or when I feel like it. Uh, this weekend for whatever reason I just felt like taking a look at the uh, Kubuntu and give you my thoughts about this. Um, I guess Kubuntu is made uh, more uh, to resemble the Windows operating system to help Windows users in their transition to Linux or if they wanted to try a Linux uh, distribution out. Uh, let me just say first of all this is not the brand new version the Lucid Lynx version. Uh, this is the Karmic Koala the, the uh, previous version. I decided to stay with this because for whatever reason uh, using the screencasting software such as Record My Desktop and then uh, using the video editor Caden Live works actually better and much faster faster in Karmic than it works in in, uh, in Lucid. Just just to give you an example, in Lucid Links, say I do a um, I don't know, say I do a 10 minute video uh, using uh, Record My Desktop in Lucid Links. To render it, uh, it takes probably a good 30 40 minutes. And then if I use any kind of editing techniques such as Caden Live uh, software. Again, a 10-minute video to render it, say from the OGV fi file to uh, Flash or MPEG-4, say at a bit rate of 2,000, it, it takes 40 minutes. I mean, it's absolutely atrocious to use video editing software in Lucid Links. That's why I, I just stuck with Karmic Koala. Okay, enough about that. Let's take a look and see what we got there. Now, keep in mind again, I'm going to pretend or try to pretend that I am a Windows user. Someone gave this to me, and let's see if I can figure out how this works. Well, obviously, I know a little bit more. What I did do is made some minor tweaks to this. To this, I downloaded some um, wallpaper here of dolphins. I moved the um, panel bar from the bottom to the top here and changed the color scheme. Other than that, uh, I really haven't done much to this. I did have to download uh, the screencasting software to do this screencast. Okay. Let's take a look and see what we have here. This is the start button. Um, again, if I was a Windows user, you can just, just go to Favorites, Applications, Computer, Recently Used, and of course, Leave, you know, uh, Hibernate, Restart, Shutdown, and so forth. If I right click on the K menu button here, which would be similar to Windows Start, if I were to go to Switch to Classic Menu Style, and for some reason it comes up that I want to remove the application launcher. No, I just wanted to switch. So I'm not sure what's going on. All going on. Yeah, there must be some kind of a bug. But let me just click remove that and remove that. And there we go. It changes it again from that uh, kickstart menu, I believe it's called, to this more of a Windows XP, Windows 7 file menu system, which is more uh, resembles of what. Uh, re re more resembling what a Windows user would use. So I'm just going to leave it like here for now. Now, of course, I'm using Record My Desktop, uh, the software management tool. That's what I use to download the uh, software to do this. Uh, do the screencast system settings. Again, somewhat similar to Windows. This okay. This is okay. I mean, nothing wrong here. You can go through the settings management here and do what you want to do to tweak the Kubuntu operating system. Um, utilities, obviously this being KDE, you will be seeing a lot of the letter K. You know, KDE Group Wizard, KMag, KMouse Tool, K Network Manager, K Notes. I mean, I understand why they put the K in it, but I don't know, it just seems kinda kinda silly to me, but be that as it may, if you were a Windows user, user trying to navigate to this, uh, I really don't see a problem. I have an NVIDIA uh, graphics card, and of course these are the NVIDIA uh, settings to tweak 
your card. Again, as a Windows user, no problem here. Let me click quit. There we go. To add the widgets, click this, you know, add the widgets, pick what you want and just add to it. You know, I can click dictionary, add, and there you go. I'll just leave that up there. What one thing I did notice, actually more than one thing, the panel bar, which was normally at the bottom, if I right click, go to panel settings, more settings, I don't see anything that says top or bottom. And I don't get it. Um, I actually had to delete the, the bottom panel bar and then redo it or reassign a new one at the top and then reload these applets that you see here, you know, the case start the clock, so on and so forth, and I don't know what this left, uh, was it left, center, right, I, really, I have no idea what this means, and that, you know, to me as a Windows user, the first thing that comes to my mind is moving this from top to bottom, or reverse, and it does not allow you to, so this is not, it's, it's, it's not intuitive, it's not user friendly, and to be honest, it's downright annoying, but I'll leave it as is for now. But the, the, the second thing that really gets to me are the size of these widgets. Apparently this is the default size of the widgets in Kubuntu when you add a widget, such as clicking this, and, and I'm like, is, is there a reason why they have to be this large? I mean, are, are the people who use Kubuntu or develop this KDE desktop, are they having issues with their eyesight? I'm not I'm not really trying to be funny here but I mean come on this is the default size of a widget uh, I figure well no big deal I'll change the size now when I when I click this I don't know if you can see this little icon here nothing happens uh, I'm trying to resize this and as you see here I mean, it looks fine in terms of a widget, but in terms of resizing, you would think, okay, desktop options, desktop settings, maybe. I don't see anything here to resize the widget. So this is, in my opinion, not very user-friendly at all. Here you have the other widget, which is my weather widget. Again, if I wanted to resize this, I don't have a clue. And just to keep these up here, this size, I mean, they look cool, but come on, this this large, I'm just going to, at least the X button works, that's intuitive, to a Windows user, which means cut, cancel, delete. So I'll just do that and leave that, and leave this as it is. Uh, another thing that I noticed, you know, these applets, these applications, uh, shortcuts up here, you know, this is not a problem, you know, right click, well, if it'll let me do it, panel settings, left click, sorry, hold, right click, and move it over. When I reboot, no matter what I have to the right, always goes back to the left. It's as if I purposely moved all my application or the applets from the right to the left, and I have no idea what's going on. So that's another annoying thing of KDE. Again, I'm looking this from the eyes of a Windows user. So if, if, if it's stuff, something I'm doing wrong or not figuring out or I'm just plain dumb about this, if I'm not seeing it, please let me know because I'm kind of curious. Well, up here you have another shortcut again. This is to adjust the uh, size of the panel bar and all that, which is fine. No problem here. This is self-explanatory here. My home folder. I don't have any devices plugged in. Of course, a device would be like a USB. Click that. Of course, you have the, your display settings again. This is intuitive, not a problem there. Volume. My Ethernet controller is fine. And uh, this is if I want to upgrade to 1004, uh, which is uh, what Lucid Links, which I don't at this time. No problem here, but these little quirks. Here's a software update. I'll just edit search. I'll just click cancel. You know, these little quirks with the widgets and the panel bar and stuff like that, you know, as a Windows user, again, it's very annoying. In terms of how it looks, I think it looks terrific. Lots of eye candy here, uh, as, I, as, as I would imagine with 
most if not all Linux distributions Linux is highly customizable probably more so than Windows 7 although with Windows 7 you can do a lot maybe not as much as you know Qbuntu or Ubuntu or you know PC Linux or Fedora or whatever else is out there you know Linux Mint um, so it looks great you know the start button menu not a problem here if I wanted to change this you know intuitively I would right click and I could go to remove this panel options but you know as a Windows user I would probably try kick off menu style because it just sounds great and there you have it it would switch how the menu the start menu would look again this is intuitive not a problem here of course uh, Firefox is uh, installed by default Again, it's similar to using Firefox in Windows, not a problem there. Of course, I rebooted without closing the Firefox web browser, and of course, this is the standard notification. Well, this is embarrassing, blah, 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 and I can just click Restore and go from there, and of course, it'll restore my tabs. I guess I had a crap load up. Anyway, that's my look at Ubuntu uh, it looks great um, it's easy to use somewhat but it's just not quite one thing I've noticed about Linux distributions whether and I've tried uh, you know Qbuntu, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Flux you know PC Linux um, Zorin OS 3 Multimedia, which is a fantastic operating system. My number one choice if you are a Windows user, by the way. Linux distributions never... <coughs> excuse me. Linux distributions... Linux is choking me up. <laughs> Alright. Linux distributions never quite feel like they're quite 100% polished, ready to go, out of the box, ready to install, and just kick Windows ass. It's just there's always something that's not quite there. Something missing. Something quite doesn't work. An example of of this is me doing this uh, screencast. You know, I could have downloaded the latest version of of Kubuntu Lucid Links. I don't have a problem with that. But then trying to do the screencast and rendering it takes forever, and I really don't know why. And at this point. I really don't care so I just downloaded the Karmic version and the screencasting software works terrific rendering it you know a 10 or 15 minute video shouldn't take three or four or five times the time of the original screencast to render the video um, but that being said again Linux to Linux distributions they never quite feel a hundred percent out of the box polished ready to go okay I think that really concludes my look at the KDE or Kubuntu desktop. It looks great, uh, easy to use if you are a Windows user to navigate around this. Um, there are bugs in, in it, at least bugs in this version, but in terms of usage should not be an issue. Again, the issue with the panel bar and the widgets, um, I just don't quite get it and the default size of the widgets I mean wow <laughs> these are huge um, okay well this one isn't this one isn't that bad this is probably about as close as quote a normal size widget as you'd want to be probably something similar to the standard size of a widget for Windows 7 I'm trying to think of what the standard size is maybe this is still a little bit too big but Again, I have no idea how to change the size. It's just, you know, the sidebar pops out for customization here. But uh, again, uh, as, as far as the size, I don't have a stinking clue. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's my look at Kubuntu. Uh, as always, thanks for looking at my screencast. And, you know, please don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And if you have any tips, uh, feel free to let me know. I usually respond to all my uh, email or comments unless of course you're going to be mean but I even respond to those sometimes okay guys thank you for watching and uh, today is Sunday so have a great week bye